Hello, my friends. Welcome back. Now that we have run a factor analysis in SPSS, we're going to take a tab, a stab at interpreting the results to see if we can understand what they mean. Now, you recall we used SPSS to conduct our factor analysis, looking for relationships between or among percentages of, of disciplinary placements for all of these different categories. The following items will be of interest to us. We will want to look at the descriptive statistics, the correlation matrix, the Bartlett's test, a sphericity, the total variance explained, uh, the scree plot, and then the rotated component matrix. Now, here are the descriptive statistics that we have, which gave us the averages for those 1,230 school districts in Texas with their standard deviations. So we are in good shape there. Now, this is the correlation matrix that was produced, and it really is very cool when you come to understand that. I want you to notice the ones going down. That's 100% uh, correlation. Percent of African American correlates 100% to itself. Percent Hispanic does that to 100% to itself. But what's neat is the percent of African Americans has a negative correlation to the percent of Hispanics. In other words, as the percent of Hispanics goes up, the percent of African Americans goes down. As the percent of African Americans goes down, the percent of Hispanics goes down. Uh, our percent of African American goes up, the percent of Hispanics goes down. That's a negative 0.394, which means that it's a moderate, uh, moderate correlation. Here's a very strong negative correlation between the percent of Hispanics and the percent of economically disadvantaged. Now, what that means is, is the way that the data is constructed, the more Hispanics you have, the lower, the higher your economic disadvantage goes. It's, it's just constructed exactly in reverse. The percent of whites, the more whites you have, uh, uh, the lower your percent of economic disadvantage goes. That's a very neat uh, correlation matrix. The Bartlett's test is significant and significantly tells us that these, uh, these uh, variables are not normally distributed, that they are skewed. And we would expect that, of course, the skewness is not a, uh, normality is not an assumption, perhaps, of uh, factor analysis, but it would be good to report on that. The total variance explained is really interesting. Uh, we came up with eight components, but here we have initial eigenvalues. Generally, in factor analysis, an eigenvalue has to be one or more before it's significant. It has to be uh, greater than or equal to one. So factors four, five, six, seven, and eight are not important. Factors one, two, and three are very important. Factor one explained 41% of the variance, 41.5%. Factor two added 18% more. Factor three explained 14.3% more. Between these three factors, they explain almost 74% of the cumulative variance in, in the data set. Now, that's, that's really very interesting. Here is a scree plot. A scree plot is a visual representation of how much these uh, variants, these uh, factors explain. You'll notice variance one explained a bunch, variance two did a little more, variance three explained a little more, and it gives us an eigenvalue that represents that. The eigenvalue correlates to the variance explained. And that is really cool. That's a good visual picture of what goes on. This is the rotated component matrix, and this is very interesting. I'll spend some time in the next video discussing this, but factor one, you see that there are some things that tie very well into factor one. For instance, the percentage of Hispanics and the percentages of white are exactly reversed with economically disadvantaged and limited English proficiency and at risk. Now, the way the data set is constructed with these economically disadvantages, uh, limited English proficiency and at risk, what that means is, is the more the, the Hispanic population went up, the more uh, you experienced economically disadvantaged, uh, limited English proficiency and at risk. And the more white students you had, the less economically disadvantaged, limited English proficiency and at risk. So factor one might be called uh, ethnicity issues. Uh, the factor two, you see we have uh, 
we have that the percent at risk in special ed and disciplinary placements come in. So if you're a special ed, you're fixing to get your butt sent to disciplinary placement. Kind of cool, isn't it? And then, of course, we notice in this one, the percent of African Americans is, um, is, is kind of uh, tied to disciplinary placement. Um, it's tied, the more, the more Africa, as African American went up, so did the uh, white percentages. In other words, the schools and the Hispanic went down. That's what's interesting to note, that in school districts in Texas, African American and white percentages run together where the Hispanic population went down. And of course, as you have more Hispanics, then you encounter issues of uh, limited English proficiency and so forth. Now, how did we do with this? We just briefly ran through reading the uh, uh, factor analysis readout or, or report, uh, looked at, glanced at descriptive statistics, correlation matrices, the test of sphericity, total variance explains scree plots and rotated component matrices. Hope this helped you some get a little handle on what you were looking at and to understand that not everything on that report is important. You need to be able to home in on the things that are important and learn to interpret them. Again, I want to thank you very much for your support. As always, your patronage keeps myself and my family fed. Uh, I need the money. Uh, this Christmas, I'm going to take my grandkids, all the whole bunch of them, to, up to uh, Colorado. We're going to go up and go ski Crested Butte, and we're going to freeze to death in Gunnison. All of that during the Christmas holidays. Live long and prosper, and again, I thank you for your support.